welcome to today's video can copy here now in today's video we are going to look at another exciting feature or an exciting thing about virtual dj you know that the virtual dj 2023 came with a lot of upgrades and then exciting features that i believe most of the virtual dj users or virtual dj enthusiasts haven't explored yet so my goal is to expose you to all these exciting new features that you can find in virtual dj so today we are going to look at one then that is how to apply effect to your microphone now i will have to say that you know when you are using a normal controller right i think this video was inspired by a question that one of my subscribers asked that they use a virtual dj sorry they use a pioneer ddj sx3 and then they would want to know how to apply effect to their microphone so i actually replied to tell him what he needs to do he needs to plug the microphone into one of the lines the sx3 have four channels or so or four lines so what he needs to do is plug the microphone in one of the lines and then he can apply the effect on that line so it means that everything that he does on that line goes into the microphone because the microphone is slotted in that line so the same idea can be applied to virtual dj right but today's video is to show you two simple ways that you can do that i'll do this uh, microphone effect videos in a series but today i'm going to show you two ways that are much simpler since it's on virtual dj and most especially for those who use the keyboard and mouse to i mean operate virtual dj so the first one is to use the master effect right now the downside of the master effect is that whatever is applied on the microphone is also applied to the master input a uh, master output sorry so it means that if i have my microphone uh, turned on like this, 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 this whatever, whatever i'm saying, saying the effect is applied on it and if i am playing a song at the same time the effect is also applied on the song as well so you can hear the echo effect on the song that i am playing as well right but this is not what we want so this is one way this is not what we want what we want is that we want the effects to only be applied on the microphone so this is where it gets interesting in the extensions section of virtual dj so you can locate that by going to settings and clicking on extensions it will bring you here so there are a lot of extensions that you can explore but our focus today will be on the mic fx part so when you go to extensions you navigate to the parts tab right and then you search for mic fx and this is the mic fx part so i'll install this part and then click on ok and i'll close it so all i need to do is to bring out this part and i'll right click on the parts here so there are two modes so if yours is looking this way you can still use it right i can just select the mic fx part here right or i can change the pad mode to multiple parts and then now i will change this one to mic fx the echo effect is already um there but if you want to change it you can go to fx select and there are several effects that you can select so let's try the reverb out so this is the reverb right and I can just activate the reverb effect and then turn on my microphone so you can see that the reverb is applied to it there are different modes like either i use the trailing stop so the trailing stop is more or less like it stops the effect stops immediately you stop talking right and then if it is off the it's normally like the effect is applied as it should be applied so it's the normal so you can see that you can still hear the reverb even though i've, I've stopped talking but if you have this trailing stop immediately you stop the effect also stops kind of right and then there is wet this is another of the, the reverb right? That, is the right, right that is basically so if you want to turn off the effect you can just click on it and then the effect is off right now the purpose of this video let me even turn off the trailing stop and then the wet only is to prove that this effect doesn't affect the deck output right so i have the reverb on and i'll play a song so you can see that the song is playing without the effect affecting the the deck output or the song that is playing right so that is basically about it you can also look at it and then play around it this this works very simple for 
um, those who don't have controllers and then still would want to apply effect on their microphones. So these are parts that you can use kind courtesy the virtual DJ extensions. I'll do another video on how to send the microphone input just to another deck, right? And you can also use it. So probably you have three, you have four decks that you would want to just channel the microphone input to one deck, let's say the deck three, right? So that you can use your other decks normally as, as you do. I'll also um, do another video and then um, show you that one. So kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found value in this video. And don't forget to like and share to other virtual DJ enthusiasts. The name is Token Kobe, and I'll come your way with another video. But till then, stay safe.